I'm here with Alex Sinclair. Alex is the Chief Technology Officer of the GSM Association. Alex, one of the things you've talked about is the connected life vision of the GSM Association. Tell us about that. Well, connected life is one of the most exciting business opportunities that we see for mobile carriers in the, in the coming years. It's uh, what some people call the Internet of Things. It's about using the power of mobile and actually mobilizing other industries and sectors. And it's a very large opportunity, well in advance of typical connectivity and uh, data charging. So your connected life vision has a $1.2 trillion number attached to it and a $600 million number attached to it, which I think is the opportunity you see for the carriers. Tell us about those two different numbers. What's the total available market for the industry as a whole and for the operators as you see it? Okay, that's a good question. This is based on the research we did with a small company called Machina, Machina Research. The 1.2 trillion is the total addressable market available to operators only, not the other players in the value chain. But we wouldn't expect them, obviously, to get all of that by 2020. We're predicting a roughly half, so that would be $600 billion worth of value. It's well in excess of just simple connectivity and data charging. That's only about a third. It's about $200 billion. It's everything else. It's devices, it's managed services, it's device management, everything above the connectivity layer as well. Now, this last week, we've seen tremendous excitement with the iPhone 5. Uh, but one of the most interesting comments you made is that we need to get beyond uh, the latest application on the iPhone uh, and look towards um, uh, industry models which leverage particular industry verticals, like the healthcare industry, for example. Tell us about that. Well, mHealth is one of the most exciting verticals in the connected living space. It's also one of the most important for society. You may not know this. Healthcare costs have been rising 2% ahead of GDP in all the developed economies for the last 20 years. And only four chronic conditions alone are responsible for the majority of the uh, healthcare budgets by remote monitoring devices using those for those particular uh, long-term complaints you can reduce the cost of healthcare significantly so you have to move beyond the current fad which is wellness apps and we've all got the heartbeat monitors on our iPhones etc to unlock the payo market so where the healthcare professionals and the insurance companies as a matter of course are paying for these treatments alex thanks for being with us today patrick a pleasure as always thank you